morning everybody. Um, it's New Year's Eve, 31st of December <laughs> and uh, I'm here looking at where I've marked out the small house we're going to build and the reason we chose to build a small house was um, a few different reasons really. One is to keep the cost down, the other is that there's only two of us living here um, yes, we might have guests staying, but not often. Um, and there's always ways and means. There's a resort literally two minutes walk from here where they could stay, which might be nicer for family to stay <laughs> than to actually live in this house with us. But, you know, that's an option for the future. Um, so really, I'm having some thoughts now about whether it's quite right. Hmm. It took me a long time to design this and I've put two bathrooms kind of back to back to make drainage easy and for building to be easy but obviously one of them is accessed as an ensuite from the bedroom the main bedroom and the other one is um, accessed from by the back door which I think is also quite good if you you know you're in the garden you want to quickly have a wee wee go <laughs> <laughs> going to back door oh, that makes sense to me but um, anyway so so there we have two bathrooms next to each other and it's this area here uh, can't really see that dirt but that dirt is where the bathrooms would be and this is where the bedroom the master bedroom will be and um, it has open sort of views on two sides and here this is going to be the living area and the kitchen is is directly opposite but slightly offset because it's quite a big area this one um, it's kitchen diner open plan and then here we're going to have a bedroom but it's a small bedroom and it's um, it's going to be a study as well and then on this side, in this corner, we are having, um, this will be, how do you say, a balcony really. It's kind of like a seating area, just seating around and the front door is here. So you come in and the front door is, is somewhere roughly where I'm standing now. <laughs> so that's the plan there. Just ignore the pictures at the bottom, they were only for the architect to get a feel of what we wanted it to look like um, and I've just uh, the architect told us 3,000 to draw the plan which is very good he's a government architect so he's doing it correctly um, and he thinks it would be between 600 and 700,000 to build which is perfect because you know anything under 800,000 is what I was aiming for um, so, so that's really good news. That, and I, I sort of part of me wonders whether I should make this bedroom bigger. I mean, I had his mum and sister come the other day, and they said, "When mum stays in this bedroom, there's no bathroom next to it. Shh, that's no good." And I'm like, I didn't design this house for her to stay here. <laughs> I, you know, spoke with um, Took, and he's like, "No, this is my study. It's not mum's bedroom." She's not going to come and stay. She never... I don't know how that's all going to work out. I, I really can't be thinking about that. But easy enough. I'm an occupational therapist. All I need to do is buy a commode with wheels on it. And I can wheel it into her room when she's there. She can use it overnight. And I, if she can't walk anymore, I can wheel her to the bathroom to have a shower. <laughs> so, you know, I'm kind of like, oh well. Um, but part of me is wondering whether I should actually change the plan now to put an ensuite in here we don't want three bathrooms and if I change the plan it's a whole remake it's a remodel which is going to cost double the architect's going to have to do the work all over again he's going to charge another three thousand it's going to make the house building more expensive yeah I'm really not sure about remodeling it now to be honest mm. right I'm going to take you over to where We've planted some coconuts. Now, the reason we've planted them, we've planted them far away from where the house build will take place. So hopefully they won't get trashed by trucks and diggers and all that sort of thing when they come and do the build. 
Um, but because we have the mountain here and, and there's no sign of this section coming down, but you know, we do want trees as protection. We've got this one, I don't know if it's going to survive. <laughs> so they dug that tree, that big tree, from over there and they just planted it there. Um, yeah, maybe it'll survive. But if not, you can actually buy full grown trees and have them planted. We asked about it yesterday. 5,000 uh, baht, 5,000 baht for a full grown tree, which they bring along and plant for you. <laughs> so, you know, could have a really big full grown tree here just to protect us from this if ever the rain is hard enough but what is interesting is this particular rock area this seems very very hard compared to that section which is softer and does seem to come down a bit but I've not we've not seen any evidence of it coming down and the people have told us they've not in 10 years not had any evidence of it coming down but it's quite far from the house so if it does it's going to land in this kind of area I don't know if you can really see that but it's it's like a great big hollow at the foot of the mountain and what we're planning on doing is putting a, a like a water trap there all the way along to store water for the garden which will pump out every so often but at the moment we have to we have to build something that will retain the water rather than let it drain away um, so we're just we won't be doing that anytime soon because there's cost involved in that and the priority is building the house but in the front area here we actually have a pond separated out and um, and the interesting thing is that the land itself this is all free land the man who owns the mountain told us we can have it all so that's why we're planting fruit trees on it and why we're going to go to town on you know, making a pond eventually, because no one else will ever be able to touch this land. And both the owner of the mountain and his mother came around the other day and said, yes, yes, you can have that land. We don't, we don't have access to it. We don't use it. You, you can have it. He said, I give it to you. <laughs> um, and here, right back in there is more land. Again, it's a big area. It's like jungle. It's big, and it's all free. Very excited, and and we have um, trees. We have a lime tree, a couple of mango trees. This is a pomelo tree. This is a more mature coconut, which we hope might actually give us some fruit next year. That would be very good. It's called mapau in Thai coconut. And one of these is a lychee. I think it's that one over there. That's a lychee, it looks a bit spindly. Yeah, we couldn't get a big one. The rest of them are mango, so we want um, a lamyai tree, um, a few more lime trees. I think that's it really. We might get some avocados planted on the far side where the sun shines. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's looking good. As long as we don't make a too big a house, we don't want too big a house. We're gonna have a, a parking area here reverse in turn move out so that's why we can't bring the house too far forward we've got all this area as well to plant when the house is built later right bye for now